Hey there, sweet friends. This is Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery channel. This morning, I was up at 5 a.m. and my plan was to sleep in, but my children had other plans for me, evidently. So the kids are up, the dog's up, the cat's up, so pretty much I got up. And I decided I was going to just get go straight into my craft room. And I bought this little um, photo album at a thrift store this week, and it was a 1986 Hallmark uh, photo album. And it just was in really sad shape. So I've had it sitting on my desk since I brought it home, and I just thought today I'm gonna do something with it. So this is my finished product. This is a 1986 Hallmark photo album with the pages, the photo pages still intact. I have bound it with my hand stitching. There are three signatures. There are um, five pages in one, six pages in another, and five pages in the third. So that would be times two, so it'd be 10, 20, 32 times two, because you get fronts and backs. So we're looking at 64 pages. On the outside, this is the original cover. I just kind of sanded it and cleaned it up a little bit. I added some remnant fabric and then some felted, um, or it's not felted, it's um, uh, flocked. It's some flocked ribbon. That is old. And then just some um, string and some thread, a vintage button. Then on the spine, I have some remnant fabric. I have lots of strings and threads hanging from this. I put some buttons in a bead, a couple of beads. And then for the closure, I have two pieces of lace that are in an eyelet. So there's one on the front, one on the back. And then on the front, I just took, um, I have a lot of old jewelry that has fallen apart. My great aunt was pretty, pretty eccentric, pretty eclectic, and pretty worldly. And she had a lot of like costume jewelry and stuff from a long time ago. And so my daughter used to play dress up with her jewelry and her clothes because they were pretty snazzy. So I have some of her jewelry and it's fallen apart and stuff. So anyway, this is just a piece of a necklace and I've just sewn some little or uh, put some little bits on here like this is some jewelry this is a small key this is a little tag a denison tag that I sewed some fabric onto and then just added a little button so inside I used some flannel fabric that I got at a pretty epic estate sale um, in October so this is the backside to the button that was sewn on the front. Here's a little pocket that I sewed in with a little old playing card. And then here is the back with some of that flocked ribbon again. So what I did was, that was kind of unique for this journal, was that I took the original photo album pages. So there were um, 10 of them. And I they were in a spiral binding. I took the spiral binding out. And what I did was I sewed them together with fabric. So there's a fabric strip and then there's a page on each side of that fabric strip. And then those became my signatures. So once I did that, I then filled the pockets with tags, vintage ephemera, um, some newer journaling cards, and just some fun stuff. So they could be photo pockets or they could be journaling pockets or you you could do whatever you wanted with them. So I'll just quickly kind of flip through and show you. I won't take all the tags out, but just know that each pocket has a um, tag in both sides, the front and the back. I then used some of my ledger paper. This was 1967. I took a little film 35 millimeter film slide from China and I just kind of sewed here, put a little bit of some coordinating paper behind it. You could put your own little stuff behind there. This is a little tuck spot that I have. I like this tag because I just took a four by six card 
and then cut it in, or I'm sorry, folded it, and then just stitched this little journaling card on the front, and you can have a little tuck spot right here or a little pocket right there, but then you could open this up to do some journaling. There are three pages that have pockets in them, so that would be actually times two, so it would be six pocket pages. This one has a journaling card, and then on the journaling card, I stapled the actual uh, photo that the negative photo that came from that photo slide, and it's some garden um, in China. This one's kind of cute because this is a vintage Christmas tag, but it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. I just think it's kind of cute with the snowman and the colors. It's another photo slide. This is just some remnant papers that I had that kind of coordinated with um, the colors of this journal, and I just tied them together with a little bit of ribbon and tucked them in this little pocket with some lace that has been sewn down the side. I love this journaling card. So this is just a, a stamp from a, the old um, purchasing stamps, or like we used to call them S&H stamps. And there's front and they're backed. And then I just sewed a little bit of remnant fabric across the top. Some coloring book pages that I glued to the back of some scrapbook paper. Some velvet trim, journaling card in a pocket. This is some of that coloring book paper with a Rolodex card that has been sewn to it. You can kind of use it as a journaling card or you could use it to, you know, tear it up, cut it up, glue it down and use it as ephemera. This is another one of those four by six cards that I sewed. This is kind of cool. So this is a, I have these little notepads that are from the 60s. So these are two of the pieces of paper from the notepads. And this is Monday, May 2nd, 1960 and Tuesday, May 3rd, 1960. And then this is just some scrapbook paper. Um, and it's pretty thick, so it kind of works as a nice back to that. This is a game card. Just a little page from an address book. A tag that has another little tag sewn to it. This is a calendar page from January 1981. And on this one, if I can get it out here, there we go. On this one, I just sewed it to a, this is a flashcard set, and this was cluster reduction, and I didn't even realize it said that, but I thought that was kind of cool. I have a lot of cluster that needs to be reduced. So uh, this is just a pretty little page with, I uh, love the colors and those little graphics. And then uh, another coloring book page with a Rolodex card. So then check out this last page. So this last page, I used some of those, um, if you watch my last video from the thrift store haul, which is where I got this book, by the way, um, the I had these little postcards that were like trifolds. So what I did on this last page was, it was a piece of ledger paper. It was like the, the other side of one of those pieces of ledger paper. And so I just sewed across here. And then because it's a trifold, it can fold and you can tuck it back in under the um, envelope like you know lid here <clears throat> or whatever so I thought that was kind of cool because you could actually do some art journaling inside of here or just journaling or photos and then it's kind of tucked away and hidden and I thought that was kind of cool and the fact that it's Hallmark also and that's what this photo album is and then here's just the back with some of that pretty fan flannel fabric and then there's the back side of it. So I'm currently waiting for my son to let me use the computer. He's doing school work on it. And as soon as he does, I will get this listed in Etsy. And um, yeah, see, see what happens with it. Hopefully it finds a good home and becomes um, 
somebody's favorite little place to write uh, cute little notes and sweet little photos and do some doodling and things like that. Guys, thank you very much. I hope you guys are having a great rest of the day and I will, um, I will talk at you later. Bye.